So this is a beautiful article. Um, unfortunately, when I see stuff like this, as exciting as it is, I got to think to myself, this guy's going to get executed, disappear, or go to prison very, very soon. Because if you look at the Bible, Turkey is one of the big players in the Gog Magog war against Israel. So for that to happen, you can't have someone in power that's pro-Israel at this stage of the game. Turkey's new opposition leader says that what Hamas did was an act of terror. So a complete 360, 180, not 360, a complete 180 from what Erdogan says all the time in promoting and supporting Hamas. Turkish opposition leader Osgur Ozel, who heads the Republican People's Party, CHP, condemned Hamas as a terrorist organization during a TV interview on Saturday. Hamas rains bombs on innocent people in the middle of the night with balloons, drones, and I don't know what else. He condemned the October 7 Hamas invasion and massacre of 1,200 Israelis that ignited the ongoing war in Gaza. You must see that this issue started with Hamas. What Hamas did was an act of terror. Hamas fired bombs at sleeping Jews in the middle of the night. The opposition leader emphasized. So again, brilliant. How awesome is that? There are people in those countries that can clearly see the truth. But as an opposition leader that could potentially run the country, and then balancing that with the fact that Turkey is still going to be part of this coalition of nations that comes against Israel, unfortunately for him, I can't see that he's going to get into power. But awesome to see because it shows that there are people in Iran, in Turkey, in Russia, in all these countries that see the truth, are pro-Israel and praying for Israel. And that shows you just how amazing that actually is. Because Western media and normal mainstream media won't cover things like that. Won't talk about things like that at all. They don't want you to know that these things are actually also happening. So pray for him. That he doesn't die or disappear into a prison. And that he grows into a God moment with Jesus Christ and gives his life to the Lord. Because he's well on his way with thinking clearly at least. Shalom.